in September 2020, we sold our house in the UK, then moved to Normandy in France, where we bought an ancient French farmhouse with various outbuildings, including an old barn, a small cottage with two woodlands, and three and a half acres of pastured land in a beautiful national park area. Follow us on our journey as Budo and I renovate the farmhouse, manage our land and take on many projects for you to enjoy. Let the fun begin. Hello everyone. Hi folks. We're here at Compost Corner again. We got it right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, the sun's in our eyes here. Yeah, we can't. First day we've had sunshine for a oh, good couple of weeks, really, yep. properly. Um, we've had a lot of rain. We've had a lot of rain, lots of rain. Uh, which is good for the land, I yeah, suppose. Which is good, yep. so positive there. But uh, in this video, you're going to see the orchard finished, planted. You might have a little <coughs> sneak peek view through there. You might be able to see some of it up. Um, uh, it was quite a lot of graft, yeah, believe definitely. it or not. I didn't realise. It's quite a lot involved in putting uh, orchard trees, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's not just dig the hole, put the tree in, is no. it? It's, there's a lot of work goes in. Even though we used the digger to pull the holes, well, Tracy did, um, the the thing with that is when you're putting it back, you've got a lot of bracken roots and other yeah. roots there. So as you're clearing it, because you do it by hand, you're putting it back. So you put your tree in, you you start to put some compost and your, uh, your sod or your earth back again. Yeah. And you're shaking the tree so the root you know the mud goes around the roots then you set it and also you put <coughs> your, your uh, stake in to hold it um, and then you start to backfill it With walk the earth it in you dug out put, put some um, natural uh, fertilizer food for the roots yeah. um, and then start to build it up then Tracy puts the cardboard down yeah yep yeah. and then I put the um, compost on yeah the, the black, black gold, gold which is here we've named it now the black yeah. gold and we just Try and this get way, it that's the new one. That's the new one building. That's the one that's done. That's the <laughs> one we've been using. And just try and get a nice circle. It's yeah. there for a purpose, yeah. isn't it? But it also looks really nice. I think it defines each of the trees, yeah. doesn't it, in their position? So uh, I've got to try and do a uh, drone shot before the sun goes down. Yeah. And try and give you a drone shot of the uh, of the orchard, Our how we've orchard. laid it out. Uh, we had a little look around on the land. We we believe we could have another twenty up to twenty five trees. Yep. Uh, in coming up in the future so uh, that's another thing to look out for yep. uh, but this year we've got the main trees in yep. and you know it takes a year or two before you start getting it well a couple of years at least before, before you, you start, start getting fruit, fruit. so uh, we're building for the future and, and it's going forward so hope you enjoy this one yep and high five because yep. we got them all done didn't yeah, we yeah it was, it was hard work though yeah i think they will enjoy this one i think we're getting knackered from the renovation and then coming out here and doing this it's sort of too the much the trouble is <laughs> your um mind is really young yeah. you have all these great ideas and your mind's going yeah yeah like you would when you're a 30 year old but then your body's like what's your his body name says no. said your body r <laughs> kelly your body's saying no, no. <laughs> slow uh, down but uh, that's but just normal on, aging anyway we? so yeah. we're but we're uh, we're pushing through uh, it's keeping us fit and healthy and uh there was a lot of graft there it was a couple of uh, well there was at least half a ton of um, compost gone down which I took up and uh, the pulling the earth back in was probably another ton or so so it's all been uh, worth it because we're gonna have this lovely orchard yep and we've got another positive I don't know if I mentioned in the last video no no our broad beans I've seen a few of the oh, broad yeah. beans come up and also the patch choy patch choy Patch out. Choy, yeah. um, is doing really well and the spinach yeah. is coming up and that'll so. be in for next Wednesday so you'll yeah. be able to see some of that we'll do Lovely. a bit of footage there because we are might be doing some clearing next Wednesday as well Yeah. because uh, we've got clear behind here you won't be able to see it but no. there's a lot of bracken and clearing out to do one or two trees, little trees to be pulled out yeah. so we'll probably look at that you might see us a bit doing that anyway that is it now Yep. thank Au you, revoir. hope you enjoy and see you next on the next one Friday yep Okay, we're here today with Budo on this beautiful autumnal day. It's gone a little bit chillier and we have had quite a lot of rain, but it's just so lovely, lovely and fresh and the sun's out. So what are you up to, Budo? Well, hang on. 
Hello. Hi. Um, so I'm making some pickets for the trees, to hold the trees. Uh, we was going to buy some from where we bought the trees. Yeah. And they were perfectly adequate, good, fair priced. But our neighbour uh, kindly said that we could have theirs. They had a load in the shed with all the, uh, the rubber bands that go round, you know, to hold the tree. Anyway, so I went up to get them, pulled them out into the daylight from the barn. They haven't seen daylight for probably 10 years and they were absolutely riddled in woodworm. Some of them had turned to powder at the bottoms. So, set us back a little bit, but I shot up to my local Siri, and a Siri here is a wood, uh, an outside wood yard where they cut wet trees, okay? Uh, and it's only literally five minutes away down the road, which is fantastic for me. And anyway, popped up there, got some uh, 2b2, or 50 mil by 50 mil for the metric people, uh, by, 170 or six foot roughly or 180 something like that um uh oak solid oak wet oak what we call wet oak so it hasn't been dried and they're going to be our new pickets so we're going to put them in there and i've cut some uh i'll quickly show you so you're obviously shaping the bottom aren't you I'm just so shaping it's... the bottom so a point so we can drive them in yeah and then i made these this is out of um i recognize that <laughs> yeah this is out of uh uh dpc yep what we put in the dpc but it's the rubber version you know the stretchy version yeah is that okay. for when you're laying bricks is it uh, yeah when you lay bricks yeah. you put this down as a dpc underneath and uh this is the best quality one so what i'm gonna do is fold them like this i'll cut strips then i'm gonna wrap them round and then wrap them sort of around the tree they'll come back to a point here which i'll just fold over with a washer and a screw and screw them in perfect and i thought that would be a nice soft uh, holder for the tree while it we give it two years to get to yep. its strength you know and, you're and also a little bit of space there so it can move a little bit and you're recycling as well aren't you you're using which you always do anyway there's always there's always a solution isn't there when yeah. we want when we want to do things and what they will stay on the stakes and the stakes will stay in the ground obviously for a up, couple of years couple of years and then we'll be able to yeah. take them off won't these we? will go dark and gray they'll dry up there dry out as they're standing up then i'll just cut them off when I need them out, I'll pull them out, obviously cut them off and the dry wood I'll use recycle again for something else. Yeah, fantastic. So at the moment I'm just just trimming them up a bit with my harangue. <laughs> <laughs> and that obviously shapes it to a point, doesn't it? But it keeps it nice, yeah. Nice and down to a point. Simple job. And uh, a little bit more and I'll show you the finished job. So this ain't joinery, this is just making it work. There's a point for you. Perfect. <laughs> we don't have to do a, a dance, do we, round the trees? Huh? We don't have to do a dance round the trees, do no, we? No, no dancing round the trees. Let me get these done. I've got 11 to do for our 11 trees. And for our 11 Patreons. Yeah, One we've, of... got, we've got the uh, little plaques. They're a plastic plaque. Yep. With you write indelible on. And we're going to put them down near the trees because we're going to use them for our seeds as well to tell us what we're growing for food. Yep, and one of our patrons has already said, um, Kelly McCoo, that she'd like to be a cherry tree. <laughs> so, so Kelly, we've... you're the cherry tree. You're the cherry tree, the lovely cherry tree. Anyway, guys. Chat to you soon. Okay, guys, we've now laid all the trees beside the holes that they're going to be planted in. Yeah. This side is going to be our fruit trees. And over the far side is going to be where we're going to plant all our apple trees. Let me turn around and let them have a look. So that's all our fruit trees in front of you. And then that lot there is where the apple trees are going. You can see all laying next to each one's got an apple tree next to the hole. Yep, and we've got the stakes next to them as well. If I just go through them, this one here is our apricot tree. So it's an apricot here. We'll give you the Latin names when we learn them. <laughs> this is the plum tree. Plum tree, right. Okay, that one's going in there. We've got the steak ready as well. Yep, lovely. This one. Sorry? This one is the cherry tree, a.k.a. Kelly McCoo. 
Kelly McCoo tree. <laughs> she wanted to be the cherry tree. She wanted to be the cherry tree. She asked, oh, she got it first. <laughs> this one here is the quince. That's a quince there. Eh? If you know what that is, everyone. Yep, that's our quince tree because we wanted one of them because we do like Yeah, them, love we? quince. And over here is our pear tree. And that's our pear. Yep. So that'll be one of two pairs because we've got another one right over where we did car um, compost corner. corner. And this is our lovely old apple This tree. is an old apple tree here. We showed you that when we was dancing under it. <laughs> Which we were told by but, Catherine that it is, can make a good juicer. It's well, a good juicer, it? yeah, but I think it's in its twilight years, and you Definitely. know, personally, but... You can see that. Can't a little bit of canker on it and things like that, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll have to make a decision maybe in the future. Yeah, we'll just leave it while it's growing. Yep, and these are obviously all our different varieties um, of apple trees. Yep. I can name a few of them. We've got Golden Delicious, Gala, Brayburn. Can I add it? Canada Gris. Oh, and there's, I can't remember. Me the uh, Was there Melrose? No, Melrose. Is it Melrose, yeah? Yeah, Melrose. And then there's one more. One more. Oh, um, is it... Judana, Judana. The oh, Juna Gold. Jude, yeah, Ju Juna, Juna Gold. Juna Gold. Juna Gold. Yeah. So anyway, so that's them all there. Yep. So we're now going to plant them all. Actually, come this way because you've started one, haven't you? Before? Yeah. Look, these these are the. Look, I'll just show you there. These are the apples off the uh, big tree that's left. All the rest went to the pigs. But next year we will be doing a lot of things. Yeah. Be careful here. And don't worry, we won't fall in the holes. No, as one, one subscriber said. One said she was worried we were going to fall in a hole. <laughs> so this is one you did earlier, as they say. Yeah, this is, I'm just doing. We got caught by the rain, so we ran away and had some lunch. Um, but this is the Melrose uh, Mullis. Was it Mullis Melrose or I something? I can't actually see without my glasses. Oh, nor can I. <laughs> Hang on. But that's a, that's a big, robusty tree. Yeah, Malus Melrose. So that's a bit more of a robust tree and we're going to put it down here on the hill. But eventually, what we're going to do is all this area here, we've decided we're going to clear it all away, all this bracken and pull out all the old stuff, and we're going to prep it all up, and then we're going to carry on our orchard right down to this corner, which will be tucked out of the way, left alone and beautiful. There's the old one of the old apple trees that was dead. I well, pulled that, that one out. The orchard, wasn't it, where yeah. The orchard was, and so. I pulled another one out over there. They're all dead. But uh, yeah. anyway, Trace, should we crack on with putting them in? Yes, we will, because we won't get a because lot of time, will we, if we keep chatting? There's blue skies there. there, over there. But there's big grey wet skies over there. And that's where the prevailing weather comes from. Speed is of the essence, as they say. Right, guys, we'll crack on and we'll do a bit of speed ramping for you or something. Hello. So, hi, folks. So I'm just going to explain what we're doing around these trees. We've got one tree in now. Uh, let me flip you around. Right, so we've got one tree in. We have the stake in nice and sturdy, as you can see. Trees in nice and solid. The rubber band, the rubbers I made up go around the tree and fix in here. If I need to adjust, I'll just undo that let it slacken out over a year or so but this is stretchy anyway look as you can see so I thought that was a good idea that's working well definitely hopefully it will give it space to expand and it will protect the tree it won't yeah. rub up in the tree hopefully the other thing we're doing we want to mulch around our trees now I need to just explain this for you guys who don't know this is the grafting union so this is the root stock and this is the president or main branch or whatever they call it uh, but you must make sure this is out of the ground okay at least three or four three or four inches there um, and also if you can put your cut facing northwards so it doesn't get too much sun on it in the summer but I, I don't think that's necessary but that's what we're going to do as a practice keep a little clear area around the bottom of this as well so it ain't all up on the tree uh, we're putting cardboard down Tracy's now going to put some black gold um, and we're going to put that around the tree as a mulch for now let that soak in and rot down with the cardboard 
and then once we get our wood chips we're going to actually put a meter circumference or actually it'll be a uh, a diameter of about two meters all the way around um uh that will uh you know be the the mulching area so stop the grass encroaching up and uh, we can keep that at bay and keep these trees healthy and not competing with the grass when the summer comes and other things and as we see other things we'll pull them out anyway but uh tracy's showing you now what she's doing just got to keep an eye on all the weeds the bracken and everything don't we? yeah that start growing but that's all part of it isn't it yeah so, we don't mind so initially we're trying to practice complete no dig but we have to dig to get these in obviously as i said um but then from then on we'll keep to this system so we'll feed this tree over the years uh we'll let the uh we'll drag back now and then the uh the wood chips that are on top uh because they'll have like no mycenial i could never say that word uh growth in there anyway um and we want that we want that to symbosis with the tree you know work under the ground and that um, and we'll add a bit more of the black gold every now and then but working more with the wood chips uh, this is just to give it a head start you know anyway that's looking good isn't it look first tree in first tree in do we have a dance around a tree first one um, or oh, i don't know if they can hack our dancing anymore <laughs> uh, anyway anyway folks <laughs> so that's how it starts so we'll show you as we do a few more Hi folks, uh, so I'm just going to show you how I tighten up these, well, support the trees with this elasticated membrane. Uh, it's uh, anti-rot stuff, so it's going to last many years, uh, but we only need it to last a year or two. Uh, basically I just cut slivers off it, fold it in half, and then what I do is I go around the tree, so I do a crisscross, fold one in, fold the other one round, okay, and here, try not to stand on the compost, I've got a screw and a washer. So I'll put the screw and washer in. Oh. Hopefully it'll go in this oak. Tighten it right up so it holds it. Then I'll, uh, oops, pick me knife up. Let me just come round. Can you see it all right? Yep. Just take that little bit off there. Trim that up, put it in my pocket. And there you are. That's the uh, tree secured around there. Perfect. It's got a bit of a uh, elastication. So what you do want is the tree to move a little bit so it learns to get tough. Because yep. if it's tied up and bound up too hard, you know, there's a compromise. You, yep. you don't want it so it moves enough that the roots are joggling all the time. But you do want it moving a bit, I think, because you want it, the, the, the well, roots the trunk, to get a memory. Yeah that they're, uh, they've got to get tough and hold on. Yep. And there's the post in, and you saw us just now putting in the, uh, the black gold down on, on some cardboard. Which looks absolutely perfect. It actually finishes the bottom of the tree off, I think, quite nice, doesn't yeah. it? And well, it's there for a purpose, isn't it? So It's there to feed the tree for a little while, get them roots established. We put a bit of, uh, what's it in there, feed as well, for the roots. And then um, what we'll do, as soon as we get some wood chip, We'll start the wood chip process because we want to move on to the wood chip for the trees. Definitely. Okay, and uh, we want to keep adding it, small as we can get, chipped up, let it go, let it rot in, pull in there, 
it will keep the bacterial life going everything else will get going and this little bit of uh, compost this black gold will just give it a little head start and uh, so that's tree number two fantastic is, it's another apple but do you remember what one it was Trey? Um, oh, gala 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 at gala. something Actually, nice isn't it yeah lovely thank you okay